Well, uh, risk culture, I'm in the camp that risk culture is part of the corporate culture and shouldn't be thought of separately. But within that context, it's you know doing the right thing when no one's looking. It's about um, the way you do things around you know in your organisation. So it's um, you know making sure that you sort of stick within the boundaries of your risk appetite and you're walking the right path. As I say, when no one's looking. So for me, interesting risk culture. I think banks banks are supposed to be good at risk management. So for me. Uh, the values of the people that work in the bank is most important, so therefore it's not just about risk culture, but also the general culture in the bank. So I feel it should, have, it should be much more integrated with the, um, with the culture of the bank as a whole, and not just focus on risk culture. Risk culture is a very interesting term that everyone is talking about. In fact, I have a panel session later on today to talk about that. Um, and people are still struggling with what it means. Does it mean doing the right thing? Does it mean living within the risk appetite of the organization? Uh, so I, I would be hard pressed at the moment to actually say exactly what it means to me because there isn't a lot of clarity around that. Um, so certainly aspects of people actually doing the right thing. But if you think about what culture really is, it's not just about behavior, it's about values and beliefs. So it's not just whether people do the right thing, it's whether they do the right thing for the right reasons. And that's where I think uh, the real challenge is because it's, whilst I can observe behavior, it's very hard for me to observe values. So the analogy I like to give, I can tell very easily whether you go to church, but I can't tell you whether you believe in God or not. Risk culture ultimately to me uh, is about acceptance. It's moving beyond uh, the letter of the law uh, to incorporating the spirit of the law and not just within the risk function and the risk organization, but within the, the broader financial services institution. Risk culture means to be obsessed uh, with you know, things that can come up when actually your business, your company or your institution looks perfect. To, to be in this kind of hypochondriac situation, for me the best, best risk manager is hypochondriac, always obsessed and worried that we are missing something when you know, the landscape looks perfect. To measure trends, to measure, to have an obsession with metrics, to measure drift, changing process and so on, because they are tell sign of possible uh, evolution towards unpleasant situations. So it's a whole process, it's, uh, it's the process should be dynamic, should be looking at creeping signs. And that's one part, of course, a lot of our research uh, in this. And this is part of the diagnostic that can uh, advance the knowledge about coming crisis. Risk culture actually means not just uh, applying risk control in the risk management departments but also taking it into the dealing rooms. So I think th what people will be looking to do is to actually have the trading desks being able to apply the risk at the sort of earlier stage pre-trade rather than necessarily doing it post-trade overnight batch running and things like that. I mean, we've talked about this a lot at the conference. For me risk culture is about um, instilling in people the belief that it's important to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not because it's what the policy says or what the regulator says or what a law says, uh, but because it's right for the bank or the firm, it's right for clients, and it's right for the community as a whole.